disaster strikes, the shocking images, innocent casualties, as if heaven and earth are unkind, the God and Buddha are hidden. If there is a purpose behind suffering, can people understand that it is the most painful reminder from Mother Earth? If religious faith can work miracles, how can we pray that the pain will go away and the war will be over? Wei Xin Shen Jiao was established in Taiwan, the Republic of China. The founder, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi, uses Yi Jin to foresee heavenly mechanism to prevent disasters, uses Feng Shui to protect the environment and regulate the magnetic field of space, and performs religious practice and rituals to soothe the souls of the suffering. Then the harmonious coexistence of heaven, earth, and man can be realized. That is how Wei Xin Shen Jiao protects the peace of the planet, which is also the sacred mission of the religious order. The idea of resolving injustice and grievance comes from the Buddhist concept of cause and effect, which emphasizes that if the injustice and hatred of spirits are not fully resolved, they will continue to reincarnate and take revenge. When a large amount of negative energy gathers, it will cause a great disaster for human beings. Therefore, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi calls on the world to respect the value and existence of life, and these Wei Xin fellows in reciting the scriptures and practicing the dharmas to comfort all the lonely souls and ancestral spirits of present and future to achieve salvation together. At the time prophesied by the Holy Spirit of the originator, Wang Chan Lao Zu, Several global disasters were successfully resolved, proving that the power of religious practice is authentic and incredible. In 2002, SARS spread rapidly from Asia to the whole world. Wang Chan Lao Tzu revealed that to contain the epidemic, we have to recite the Medicine Buddha Sutra immediately and build the World Peace Bell Tower. Then the problem of the Earth magnetic field can be solved. On May 21st, 2003, Wei Xin Shen Jiao held the World Peace Ritual for the eternal elimination of plagues and averting disasters. Wei Xin Fellows recited more than 36,000 chapters of Medicine Buddha Sutra. At the same time, the World Peace Bell Tower was built to change the Earth magnetic field with the Feng Shui principle. And the lotus seeds and the 5,000 Homa Wangs offered at the ritual were burned in the treasure hole under the bell tower to contain the epidemic. On June 4, 2003, the ritual was successfully concluded, and the World Health Organization announced the lifting of the global source alert at the same time. From December 23 to December 25, Avian influenza outbreaks occurred in Korea, Japan, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Indonesia, China, and Malaysia. Among them, Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, Indonesia, and China, 
even had the cases of human infection with H5N1, resulting in 113 deaths in all. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi immediately instructed Wei Xin fellows to recite the heavenly virtue scripture of immortal Master Gui Gu for more than 360,000 chapters. Then, from December 21st to 28th, 2005, a seven-day ritual for eliminating plagues and summoning the spirits with Homa was held to transfer the merits of reciting the scripture to morals of plague of avian influenza. Homa ones were burned to pray to the Dharma protecting deities of the Dragon Heaven to bless all the spirits to be reincarnated as human beings and not fall into reincarnation anymore. The ritual was completed on December 28, 2005, and in 2006, the avian influenza epidemic has gradually subsided and has not caused any large-scale transmission so far. In October 2006, the Antarctic ozone hole reached its maximum area on record, 26 million square kilometers. Grandmaster Hui Yuan Chan Shi instructed that a disaster coming to the Earth. Therefore, on June 19, 2007, a 79 day long ritual was held at the Tathagata Garden in Chanji Shan Xianfo's temple. Wei Xin fellows recited 640,000 chapters of the heavenly virtue scripture of immortal master Gui Gu, and all the merits were transferred to the Dharma realm. And then, Homa wands made of pine trees were incinerated to make offerings to the 10,000 spirits from the three realms. The ritual was completed on September 5, 2007. The World Meteorological Organization announced on September 6 that the hole in the ozone layer has shrunk by 30% in size. In 2009, many large holes appeared on the Earth, and there were more than 459 holes along the Yangtze River in China. From the divination of Yi Jin, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi learned that the Three Gorgeous Dam Reservoir project on the Yangtze River resulted in a shift in the Earth's axis and a change in the gravitational force between the planets in the universe, which formed many circular sinkholes. If this happens around the dam, it will endanger the lives of 400 million people downstream of the Yangtze River. On November 23, 2010, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi instructed fellow cultivators that a great ritual to eliminate calamities and pray for safety to be held. All virtuous fellows recited 1.22 million chapters of the Mother Earth scripture and 680,000 chapters of the larger sutra of the Amidaba Buddha to respectfully invite the Jade Emperor, Lady Mother Earth, and the 72 Heavenly Masters to resolve the disaster. The ritual was completed on December 22, 2010, and no more sinkholes have appeared in the world, which shows the incredible power of religious rites. On March 11, 2011, a major earthquake struck Japan, and Mount Fuji began to show signs of eruption. The divine revelations of Wang Chan Lao Zhu were to immediately build the heaven worshiping platform and the heavenly harp pound in the Bagua Holy City. The heavenly harp pound was created in the shape of an upside down Mount Fuji. To change the magnetic field of the Earth, 
Weixin Fellows recited 480,000 chapters of the Heavenly Virtue Scripture. On June 19, 2012, the ritual was held to transfer all the merits of recitation to the Dhamma Ram and to resolve the crisis of Mountain Fuji. The ritual was completed on June 23rd, and on June 24th, the Seismological Center of Taiwan observed that the activity in the seismic zone of Mountain Fuji had become quiet. However, at this time, the continued rise of the volcanic floor in Yellowstone National Park in America has caused great concern among scientists. If the Yellowstone volcano erupts, it will cause an ecological catastrophe. From divine revelations of Wang Chen Lao Tzu, on October 23, 2012, a ritual should be held to transfer all the merits of reciting a total of 360,000 chapters of the heavy virtue scripture of the immortal master Gui Gu. And a sweet dew blast with sutra chanting was poured into the heavy heart pound to release the volcanic energy. During the ritual, 28 earthquakes of magnitude 6 or higher occurred in the Pacific Rim, and the unstable energy was gradually released. The ritual was completed on December 29, 2012. The active volcano in Yellowstone National Park also fell silent. In December 2013, there was an Ebola virus outbreak in West Africa with a fatality rate of more than 50%. The World Health Organization declared it a public health emergency of international concern. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi explained that the Ebola virus is a germ, but it is also alive. We should hold at least eight rituals to resolve the resonance of the spiritual world. Therefore, the virtuous cultivators of Wei Xin Shen Jiao held disaster elimination and benediction rituals on the third day of the third lunar month, the 26th day of the third lunar month, the fifth day of the fifth lunar month, the sixth day of the sixth lunar month, the seventh day of the seventh lunar month, the ninth day of the ninth lunar month, and the tenth day of the tenth lunar month of the Jia Wu year. On May 10th, 2015, the twenty-second day of the third lunar month of the Yi Wei year, the day of the starting of the water and land Dharma service of Wang Chan Lao Tzu birthday celebration, the number of reciting the heavenly virtue scripture by all the virtuous cultivators has reached 11 million chapters. The World Health Organization announced that the Ebola virus outbreak was over on the same day. In 2015, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi announced the divine revelations of Wang Chan Lao Tzu that the world would have a food crisis in 2016. Fellow cultivators should recite the heavenly virtue scripture for more than 12.5 million chapters and offer religious prayers for all sentient beings from time to time to resolve the hunger and poverty brought about by the war. With the diligent practice of all virtuous cultivators, a ceasefire was declared in Syria's civil war on February 26, 2016. By May 5, 2016, the total number of scriptural recitation had reached 12.72 million chapters, and the world food crisis has not been worsened by the war, 
proving once again the power of religious practice to transform darkness into light. From February to November 2017, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un continued to conduct more than 20 test launches of intercontinental ballistic missiles on the verge of war with the United States. And the U.S. assisted South Korea in deploying the third anti-missile system, prompting strong dissatisfaction from China and therefore to multiple boycotts against South Korea. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi followed the divine revelations of Wang Chan Lao Zhu to start a 31-day long ritual on August 28th. He asked fellow cultivators to recite 240,000 chapters of the Heavenly Virtue Scripture to resolve the world crisis. On September 27, the ritual was completed. The Weixin Fellows have accumulated 560,000 chapters of heavenly virtue scripture recited. The relationship between China and South Korea took a turn for the better in October, and the two sides reached an agreement to resume exchanges. Tensions between the U.S. and North Korea also gradually ceased. On June 12, 2020, leaders of the two countries held a summit meeting in Singapore, leaving a valuable record of the first peaceful meeting since the Korean War. In December 2019, the COVID-19 pandemic began spreading outward from Wuhan City, Hebei Province, China, rapidly to Japan, Korea, Southeast Asia, America, Europe, Africa, and other regions. More than 200 million confirmed cases and more than 5.3 million deaths by December 2021. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi explained to his fellow cultivators that although the forms of the epidemics vary, they are all essentially caused by the restlessness of the soul. The pandemic can only be subsided through religious practice and rituals that provide the soul with the transformation and path to a peaceful heart. Following the divine revelations of Wang Chan Lao Zhu, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi has launched the great rituals for eliminating calamities, averting disasters, and eternal elimination of plagues on February 6th, March 19th, June 22nd, July 19th, July 20th, August 8th, September 11th, and December 29th, 2020. He also encouraged the fellow cultivators to recite the scriptures and transfer the merits to all sentient beings in the Dharma realm. In 2020, the total number of scriptures recited by the Weixin Fellows reached 25.88 million chapters, and the pandemic was not out of control in Taiwan under the joint efforts of the government and the public. Compared to neighboring countries, the record low number of confirmed cases has attracted much attention from the world's media. However, in May 2021, Taiwan, which has responded well to the pandemic, experienced a COVID-19 community outbreak. With more than 10,000 confirmed cases in just one month, 
Taiwan has moved up to a level three COVID alert on May 19th. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi held a 105 day great ritual for sending and washing the Buddha from May 19th to August 31st at the Weixin Boulevard in Bagua Holy City, main altar of Weixin Shenjiao. In addition, three rituals were held at Taichung Branch Temple, Tian Yi Branch Temple, and Holy San Bao Si Branch Temple. After the rituals were completed, the pandemic in the nation was clearly under control, and the COVID alert was lowered to level 2 on July 27th, with zero confirmed cases again on August 25th. On September 13th, 2021, Weixin Shenjiao began the Amidaba Buddha birthday celebration and benediction ritual for national protection and disaster elimination. During the ritual, the 15,615 surnames of Chinese ancestral spirits and spirits of 918 Chinese emperors and their families were invited one by one to the altar and received the Dharma offerings of the scriptures. And on December 20th, the Great Initiation was performed to calm the hearts of the ancestral spirits. Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi also reminded his fellows to recite 8.88 million chapters of the heavenly virtue scripture of immortal Master Gui Gu before the end of the ritual to alleviate the global epidemic. The Weixin fellows were compassionate about the safety of all the people in the world and recited diligently day and night. By the last day of the ritual, the total number of scriptural recitations had existed 8.98 million. The number of confirmed cases in Taiwan had been zero for more than a month, and the epidemic in most countries around the world has significantly subsided. War peace is the founding purpose of Weixin Shenjiao. With the wisdom of Yi Jin, Grandmaster Hu Yuan Chan Shi unveiled the cycle of cause and effect of war, natural disasters, and epidemics. He led his fellow cultivators to show great compassion and actively reverse the common karma of humanity with religious rituals. When the energy of light suppresses darkness, miracles will come. Let us connect with love and join with all the world's religions in caring for the peace and future of humanity.